sharing is caring. But when it comes to chocolate, no one likes to share them, isn't it? When you share something or divide something, there is a lot of mathematics behind it. So, without wasting any time, let's start this session with you and some of your friends. You and your two friends went to Ben's house. All the while waiting for you guys, he ate 9 out of the 10 chocolates that he kept for you guys. Now, after you guys reached, all you have is one big chocolate that you have to divide it in equal parts among your friends, including Ben. No cheating. So, how will you do that? Nice. You have divided one whole chocolate into four equal parts. So, each one of you will get one part out of the four parts of the chocolate. Or, can we say that each one of you had one fourth part of a chocolate? And numbers in this form are known as fractions. So, what is a fraction? Fraction to a layman is just some part or a piece of something. The numbers of the form A by B are called fractions. Let's learn something more about fractions. As we can see, a fraction has two parts, one top part and one bottom part. The top part is known as numerator and the bottom part is called as denominator. Denominator is the total number of equal parts in which the whole is divided into. And numerator is the number of equal parts which have been taken out or which have been left out. Like as I said before, the numbers of the form A by B are called fractions where B cannot be 0. But why will it not be 0? Because if it is 0, then the fraction will not be defined as we cannot divide anything by 0. Confused? But why denominator cannot be 0? Basically, what is denominator? Denominator is the total number of equal parts in which the whole is divided, right? But if we cannot divide anything into zero parts, we cannot give any part to anyone. And hence, denominator of a fraction can never be zero. This is one of the golden rules of mathematics. Now, suppose your uncle asks you how much chocolate you had. You will not say you had one big chocolate, you divided it into four equal parts and ate one part of it. But now, as you know what fractions are, you will proudly say you ate one fourth part of the chocolate. Now, can you tell me how much part of the chocolate did all your remaining friends have? Three parts of the chocolate were remaining out of four. So, they all had three-fourth part of the chocolate. Let's take a small quiz before we move ahead. Can you tell me that do the shaded region correspond the fractions displayed? In question 2, the shaded region represents the fraction but not in the other two. Can you tell why? In figure 1, it is not divided into two equal parts and in figure 3, it is not divided into four equal parts and hence the fraction are not corresponding.